An Italian circus is trying to pass off chow chows, which are canines, as pandas. This is phenomenal. So they're painting the chow chows, which are white, with uh, the black patches to make it look like a panda. And now they're going to have to face uh, some criminal charges as a result of this. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. According to International Business Times, two white furred dog cubs, a male and a female of chow chow breed, were camouflaged as pandas and shown to the public, particularly children, to take photos demanding payment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So, do we denounce and reject them? Of course we do. Don't paint the poor dogs, right? Um, <laughs> they kind of do look like pandas. And, it, and it, it's also insensitive because they uh, put them in somewhat blackface. So that's also mm. wrong, right? Didn't it's wrong on a lot of levels. Component of right? the story. <laughs> um, <laughs> we had to make it racial, even this story, right? right anyway. uh, so, but when they say we believe it's unacceptable to ridicule animals for entertainment and profit. That's kind of the whole circus. Yeah, I was going to say that. Like, if that's what, okay, animal cruelty is the charge that this circus is going to have to deal with, right? And also, they're demanding payment from people who think that these are pandas, so it's fraud, and they're upset with that as well. Mm -hmm. But if you're really genuinely concerned about animals being mistreated for entertainment value, yeah, zoos, circuses, I mean, the entire circus does this as its, you know, bottom line or its point. So it's just hilarious that this is like the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, I don't know that ridiculing animals is a charge. So I'd, I'd dial it back on that charge. And then they say in the article here, the two dogs appear to be in good health, but investigators say they both had very watery eyes, possibly from being exposed to constantly flashing cameras. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> We've taken it too far. Now we're worried about the watery eyes of the dog. I mean, if they said it was because of the paint, I'd say, oh my God, don't paint the dog, poor dog's eyes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. No, it's because they keep taking pictures of the dogs because they think they're pandas. Right, no. But, I mean, that's not a crime. That's crazy. So we haven't even told you guys the best part of the story yet. This is my favorite part of the story. Skeptical customers were told the two dogs, a male and a female, were actually half panda, half dog hybrids. <laughs> <laughs> the, the vaunted half panda, half dog hybrid. <laughs> I like that the skeptical customers were like, oh, okay, great. That, that explains it. I'm not sure they were quite skeptical enough. <laughs> oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> and I, one of the other charges is that they falsified the animal's passports. <laughs> I didn't well, know they had passports. No, I know, I know. But there's a good reason behind that, okay? You don't want to transport the animals when they're too young. They might die as a result of that. And it turns out that they lied about the age of the, the I was going to say pandas, the chow chows. No, no, they were six uh, months too young yeah. to be traveling. Anna, half panda, half dog hybrids. <laughs> so, uh, come on, you got to give it to them for inventiveness. There, there it is. Yeah. I want that. <laughs> I believe the appropriate caption for this uh, picture is, I can't even. <laughs> <laughs>